Thank you for staying with us on uh, TVC Breakfast Saturday. Let's look at the major stories on the front pages today. I'm starting off with the nation. The big story here says a state in dilemma over 70,000 Naira minimum wage. The writer there says Abia, Rivers, Delta, Imo, Kano, others undecided. Nasarawa, Inugu, Akwaibom set to pay the new wage. Nigeria can no longer rely on outdated systems. President Tinubu says, insist, reforms driven by long-term visions. Federal government fines meta $220 million for violating consumer data laws. PDP APC leaders clash over Shaibu Okwebolo's attack, and I remain deputy governor till November. Shaibu dares Obaseki. The major stories on the front page of the nation. Let's move now to Lagos weekend. It says here, a leadership weekend rather, states on edge over planned hardship protest. Uh, the writer says the governor's call for dialogue says grievance is receiving attention. Demonstration is a constitutional right as CSOs, Northern students, others pull out. Security agencies place personnel on alert. 70,000 Naira minimum wage governors to meet awaits details. It's binding on states as federal government. Why we accepted 70,000 Naira, says NLC. It's unpatriotic not to speak truth to power, says Ndume Olubadon. Uh, Makinde Ladoja fuel set stage for another Game of Thrones. That's in the leadership, uh, Lagos, uh, leadership Weekend this morning. Until the Saturday Times, tension heightens as PDP APC trade blames over mother violence. Shaiba remains impeached despite court judgment. Edo State Government is saying. The CP vows to execute court judgment if so directed. Senator Undume turns down Apabio's appointment, insists on comments. And uh, courts are remands farmer for uh, defiling. The major stories on the front page of uh, the Saturday Times this morning. Saturday Independent says, War against multi-billionaire oil bunkering may yield no result without enforcement, says report. Writer says politicians, oil workers, security operatives, and syndicates, says economists. Refined PMS smuggled into neighboring countries sold at cheaper rates, industry experts. Retired Supreme Court Justice Ogi, S.A. and others fought in decent dressing by lawyers. 80,000 Naira minimum wage proposal in Rivers, fictitious. Governor Fubara, Fubara clarifies uh, crime rate reducing RGP boast as Tunubu meets security chiefs. That's in the Saturday Independence this morning. And uh, moving to Saturday Punch, uh, the big story here says global IT hitch. Nigerian passengers groan as foreign airlines cancel delay flights. United Airlines and others uh, delay cancel Nigerian flights. Passengers <coughs> lament delays at airport. Foreign carriers advise travelers to reschedule flights. Flood has sacked our children from schools. Lagos community leader laments. 307 uh, suspected robbers, 296 kidnappers in police nets. Police under pressure over medical report of Lagos teenager defiled by court. The major stories on the front page of the punch. Saturday Telegraph says, yeah, hardship how Tunubu can lift economy from doldrums by Ilika Kalu in Sis Governor's uh, government not doing enough in cutting cost of governance says allocations to productive sectors must be increased. Tunubu changes uh, charges service chiefs to synergize in fighting security. Um, of course, uh, it says uh, crime on decline in Nigeria, says IGP. Federal government fines Meta $220 million for privacy breach, to, uh, of course, to raise $300 billion from uh, bond markets. That's in the Saturday Telegraph this morning. On the first news, Nigerian government slams 330 billion naira fine on Facebook WhatsApp users, WhatsApp owners. Uh, 263 Boko Haram terrorist families surrender amid uh, MNJTF offensive. My spirit has left PDP for APC, Shaibu declares. <laughs> Very interesting. I stand by my statements. Says Undume, rejects Senate Tourism Committee chair appointment. How fake news nearly destroyed my 40 year marriage, Lai Mohammed says. The MO offers 300 billion federal government bonds.
for subscription at uh, 1,000 Naira per unit. The major stories on the front page of the First News. Platform Time says, yeah, I survived a bachelor regime by miracle, says Walisha Inka. Katsina police arrest 13-year-old suspected bandit informant. Co uh, cost reason, many Nigerians don't seek medical care, says Minister. And the mayor rejects Senate committee appointment, urges Tinubu to address national hardship. Uh, federal government shuts down illegal gold mine in Kogi State, arrests seven suspects. That's in the platform times this morning. And to the Guardian, intrigues as APC PDP plots to test strength. That's on the Quara Local Government polls. Our barriers to accessing free treatment, stigmatization, impede quest to end HIV AIDS by 2030. A feature story here says uh, travails of a vocal parliamentarian, Ali Undume. You can find that on pages uh, 32 and 33 of The Guardian. These are the major stories on The Guardian weekend. All right, so of course, I'll have to take the Sporting Life newspaper as my final newspaper. And the header here says, uh, several headers actually, uh, 177 billion Naira PSG deal will seem to earn 25 billion Naira per season after the green personnel terms. Nigerian to sign five-year deal. I can't wait for the season to start, says it will be. New Eagles coach, sports minister denies traveling to the UK. Everton tip paying to be big hit in England. West Ham holds £20 million talks with Conte. Manchester United attempted last-minute hijack for Onana. Paris Olympic, Germany beat the Tigress in friendly games. 2024 Paris Olympics, federal government boosts games with 12 billion naira.